hello friends for this pattern we will need 3.5 mm crochet hook and two color of burst weight yarn this crochet bell bottom size is three to six months baby girl size so let us start first you take your base color yarn and start from waistline make one slip knot make 10 foundation chains second chain from my hook and make one half double crochet make one half double crochet in each stitch across this round one half bc in each stitch To chain turn it and go to the next stitch you make one half piece in the back loops only you repeat this uh, stitch as per your required length of uh, the waist line sorry width of the waist line hello friends i have completed my uh, 32 lines of the half bc stitch and this is the top part of the uh, bell bottom now I am joining it together with slip stitch You join it with slip stitch or single crochet stitch. Hello friends, this is the top part of the bell button, bell button and now I am working for the next uh, round. You make one, two, three chain, count a chain. First, this stitch. Make one this stitch. Sorry, two DC stitch in every stitch. You increase stitches in this row. You make total sixty two DC stitch in this round. Hello, friends. I have a total. 62 
double crochet in this line or in this round and you continue the same stitch at least six to seven lines three chain count as your first this is stitch go to the next stitch and make one DC go to the next stitch make one DC stitch you make one DC stitch in every stitch of this round you do not increase any stitches in the next six to seven row you make only one DC stitch in every every single stitch I have completed my six uh, lines of the DC stitch and now here I have divided into two equal parts for the bottom part of the bell bottom so here you divide it in equal parts and here I have marked it and now you make one two three chain and go to the other side stitch here you join it with slip stitch now this is divided into two equal parts and now start the one side of this band so you make three chain count as your first DC stitch make one DC stitch in the next stitch one DC stitch in each stitch across you complete this uh, uh, round this is a one sided of band and you repeat it and you also make three DC stitch into this uh, chain this is the three chains here I am making one DC stitch in each is every stitch and now I am joining in the beginning chain join it with slip stitch first round is complete For next round you make the same you make only one DC stitch in each every stitch and you make five to uh, six lines so as per your required length the same DC stitch hello friends I have completed my six lines of the DC stitch one two three four five six this is the one sided uh, pant uh, portion and this is the another side here you attach your um, yarn and uh, continue this uh, stitch the other side You 
continue the DC stitch and this is the three chain here you make the same DC stitch on this uh, chain join it with slip stitch in the beginning chain and this is the other side portion of the band and you continue the same stitch uh, more five rounds five more rounds well friends I have completed my five lines of the DC stitch this is the length of this band this is 3 to 6 month size if you want to make the big size then you increase your length of this band now I am making the bottom part of this band so you start from here make one two three chain count a chain first double crochet make one double crochet into the same stitch total i have two double crochet in the same stitch go to the next stitch make one double crochet go to the next stitch make two double crochet then go to the next stitch make one double crochet and you make the uh, you repeat the same stitch in this round and you make the same stitch in the other side of this band so you repeat this uh, stitch hello friends I have completed my uh, previous round and it is here I have uh, increased my stitches so this is a pattern of the bell bottom so you make uh, another uh, two lines of the DC stitch you make only one uh, DC stitch in every stitch you do not increase any stitches in the next one or two lines you make one DC stitch in each the stitch across this round I have completed my uh, three rounds of this stitch this is the bottom um, part of this uh, band I have I finished two sided of this band and now I have attached yellow light yellow color yarn for the last round So 
slip stitch and make a skip the next stitch go to the next and make five double crochet two three four and five now I am skipping the next stitch go to the next and make one single crochet then I I am skipping the next stitch go to the next stitch and make five DC stitch and I am repeating the same stitch in this round and you complete this uh, border line with the cell stitch pattern and you also make the same pattern on the other side of this pant hello friends i have completed my frill portion of this bell bottom now you make the this type of belt i am using 60 chains and uh, you take your uh, crochet uh, hook one two three here you uh, you had uh, increase your stitches and after that this uh, stitch this is the DC stitch you skip the one two three lines and then you go to the here and insert your belt You skip the next stitch, go to the next and insert your hook and pull through the belt or ribbon and you repeat the same process. You insert two sided of this ribbon and now you come to the waistline and you take the hundred chains 
and I make a belt and insert this belt in the waistline of this bell button bell button so you go to the front side this is the front part of this um, bell button so you insert here your hook Hello friends, I have inserted my uh, crochet belt uh, inside my uh, bell bottom and uh, you can make, uh, you can attach uh, small flowers in this belt and this is a very simple and beautiful pattern of the crochet bell bottom and you can make it easily and Thanks for watching my videos and please uh, like my videos, share my videos and uh, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.